Yes, you heard the damn title right. I'm going to give this motherfucker a shot this year. I'm going to give him a shot, even though he's going to be replaced in a year. He's a rental, basically. He's a fumbling king. I'm going to give him a shot. I hope Melvin Gordon has a great season this year. You know? And I hope he proves me wrong. I hope he's the best one-year rental ever. Around, when is he? How old is he? 27? That's when he declined as a running back around that time. I'm going to give this man a shot this year. Because, why not? I got to give everyone a shot. I got to give whoever's the right tackle a shot. I got to give A.J. Johnson a shot. I got to give Jerry Judy a shot. This is the year. Everyone gets a damn shot. Drew Locke gets a shot. Everyone gets a shot. Shot, shot, shots. But Melvin Gordon in particular. He, I got to say some. the best moment of last year was when he caught that ball. To get that first down against the Chargers, and we won that game. So, that was the best moment. That was the best thing he did last year was when he caught that first down. And uh, that's really it. That's the only clutch thing he's done all year. But hopefully he can have another, He can have his first good year in the Broncos uniform. I don't care about the 900-something yards, the nine touchdowns, the two touchdowns, the one receiving touchdown. Who cares? Two of them were against the Jets, and the majority of them were late in the season when it didn't matter the most. It didn't matter. So it didn't. Hopefully, as a, he has a good start to the season, and he he produces and becomes a pretty good running back again. He's gonna get. He's getting up there in age, and he's not going to be back with the Broncos. So, yeah, so... We had we picked Pat Shermer over uh, uh, Phil Blinzey. That was obviously a terrible move, but it's not Melvin Gordon's fault for that. He just wants to get. He's just a player. He has like no say in those decisions, so no one should blame Melvin Gordon for that. And hopefully, he has a good year. You know, last year he had like nine hundred, almost a thousand yards, but who cares? Because he did not like he wasn't efficient. Again, he fumbled four times. How many fumbles did Philip Lindsay have last year in his entire career with Denver? So, yeah. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can run Melvin Gordon better, uh, more efficiently. Um, I know we, we drafted Javante Williams. He's going to get... He gonna, he's going to get some carries as well, obviously, but Melvin Gordon's going to be... He's a projected starter, and he's usually... He's going to be the starter this year, for real. And we have to rely on him. And uh, we'll hopefully he can prove me wrong. I hate him, but hopefully he can prove me wrong and have a good year, you know, and try to make more money. Because he's not going to be... He's not going to come back to Denver, I guarantee it. Because, you know, you know, this was a terrible signing. But, you know, hopefully he can have a good year for his sake. I don't care. I don't care. He shouldn't care about the team. He should ha try to have a good year for his sake because he's not going to be back with the Broncos next year. Um, the 2020 to 2022 season, he's not going to be back with the Broncos. So what? what's his... He shouldn't care about the team. He should just care about his individual stats. So he, sh he better put up a good season next year. Yeah, I'm giving him a shot. You know... I hate him, but I'm going to give him a shot. If he does good, I'm going to give him credit, unlike last year. Last year, I made a bunch of excuses on streams, on videos. I'm going to give him credit. When he fucks up, oh, I'm going to tear him a new one. This is going to be a new year. I'm going to hold players accountable this year. Jerry Judy, you drop a fucking pass, I'm going to be pissed. Gordon, you fumble, I'm going to kill you. Locke, you throw a pick, I'm going to kill you. Fucking, who else? Bulls, if you hold somebody, I'm going to kill you, even though you were very good last year. If I hear another holding number 72, it's going to be tough, man. Everyone should be held accountable. Now. This is a different year. It's a different environment, okay? It's a new year. Our secondary is probably the best since 2015. Our receiving core... 
It's pretty damn good. Young and good. Our quarterback situation. It's iffy, but I know the man. I know who's gonna win the job. It's number three is gonna win the job. Okay, I don't care about Teddy Two Gloves and how safe he is with the ball. I'd rather ride with number three than just go mediocre. I'd rather gamble and lock than just go like nine and eight and barely make it to the playoffs and then get squashed. I'd rather see what Locke could do this year. I I can't wait till this year. Training camp. I'm gonna make my training my roster predictions the beginning of training camp or whatever, like mid preseason. I'm gonna make my season predictions around the end of preseason for all the teams. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait till football starts. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, uh, this video is not just about Melvin Gordon, but you know, I just want to put that in the title, piss you, and make you guys say, "Oh, you giving Gordon credit?" No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him credit when he makes a good play. I'm gonna say, "Ooh, Gordon, nice fucking run, nice stiff arm. Ooh, you didn't fumble on that play. Ooh, nice touchdown." I'm gonna give him credit because we don't have. He's gonna be the best running back on the field. Javante, he's a rookie. I'm not gonna. Javante's not better than him right now because he's a rookie, and I have to I have to be honest about that. Melvin Gordon has more league experience, and he's a better running back right now. We don't know what Javante is going to bring until preseason and the regular season. So yeah, Melvin, I'm going to give you a shot. Don't blow it. You know you want to make money in the off season. You have to play good, buddy. You can't just fumble every time. You can't just lose nine. You can't just do, lose like two yards every carry. You have to, uh, you know, be productive. I hope he rushes for like a thousand yards and maybe like six touchdowns and like a couple receiving touchdowns. Just be efficient, man. He wasn't efficient. Every time he ran, he he either lost yards or fumbled. I know he fumbled four times, but he felt like he fumbled all the time, and he fumbled in the most crucial situations last year. And his best game was against the Jets and Chiefs. His best game was against the Jets for sure because he had that last second touchdown that didn't matter. So we, we won the game anyway. We could have just took it a knee. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Melvin Gordon, I'm going to give you more credit. I'm going to give a lot of players that I don't. I'm going to give Judy credit and I'm going to criticize him when they drop balls and shit. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be uh, biased to any player. Everyone's equal to me, except Von Miller because he's the best player on the team. But everyone's equal to me. If you fuck up, if you get a penalty, I'm gonna be pissed at you. It's gonna. It's a new year, 2021. Let's we'll see what this, these guys can do. I can't wait till training camp. Um, day before my birthday. So, 12 days is training camp. So you gotta head to Duff Valley or whatever. You gotta get to, gotta get to work, man. And uh, that's really it. Other than that, my high six piece. Have a good day. I filmed this at like 1:26 a.m. So you're probably gonna get this at like one o'clock. So everyone, have a good day. Counting you, Gordon. Hopefully, Judy improves. Lock improves. I want everyone to improve. Let's have a good fucking season. And Gordon, if you fucking fumble when I do a live stream, I swear to God. All right, peace.